I bought every major premium emulator on Android from Game Boy to PS3. Most of them aren't even worth paying for, because in almost every case, there's a free alternative that does the same job, or even better. So before you tap that buy button, let me show you which ones deserve your money and which ones don't. Let's begin by searching emulator on the Google Play Store. You'll see tons of results, but we're focusing on the ones that want your money. We'll test them, compare them to their free alternatives, and figure out if spending is actually necessary. Let's start with Pizza Boy C Pro for Game Boy Color. It costs $5.49, and honestly, it's a solid emulator. But I got two better options absolutely free. It runs classics like Pokemon Crystal and Wario Land 3, offers turbo mode, save states, and a clean UI. But guess what? The free version of Lemuroid or RetroArch can do nearly all of that and better. Sure, it might not look as polished, but you'll still get all the core features without paying a single penny or seeing a single ad. So unless you really care about UI design, the free option already wins. Next is M64 plus FZ Pro for Nintendo 64. It's $3.99. Maybe you don't know you can get it without any penny and supports advanced plugins, custom controls, and shader syncing. I'll admit the Pro version is smooth, but here's the twist. The free version M64 plus FZ is almost identical in performance. You're literally paying just to remove ads and get updates slightly faster. That's it. For casual users or budget gamers, the free version is more than enough to play N64 classics like Super Mario 64 and Ocarina of Time. Now here's where things get really shady. APS3E Premium claims to emulate PS3 titles like The Last of Us and God of War 3 on Android. Android. It costs $4.99. But here's the truth. The free version on Play Store does the exact same thing. No performance boost. No extra features. Literally just a paid clone of the free one. So why spend $5 when you can try it first for free with the same result? Spoiler alert, you shouldn't. Let's talk about Heartbreak Damon PS2 Pro, a PS2 emulator for $9.99. Spoiler alert, it's just crap and I got 100 times better options. Of course, free. I tested it with God of War. War 2 and GTA Vice City stories, and let's just say I want my money back. Crashes, stuttering, and worst of all, it still shows ads even after you pay. But here's the good news. PPSS 22, my PS2, and a few other emulators on the Play Store are 100% free. Good news NetherSX2 is also back in action. Available on official GitHub and offers better performance, cleaner UI, and no annoying pop-ups. If you're looking to play PS2 games on Android, Damon PS2 is not the answer. Let's move to PlayStation 1 with EPSX for Android. At $3.75, it's been around forever. I don't know who will buy it after knowing the free one. And yes, it works well. EPSXE is a classic PS1 emulator but it's outdated. The UI is old school and there are no big updates. Now compare that with DuckStation, which is modern, smooth, and free. It offers HD upscaling, a better interface, and improved compatibility. Why spend money on something that hasn't evolved when DuckStation beats it in every category and costs nothing? Finally, let's talk about one of the most hyped emulators, PPSSPP Gold. It costs around $4.99, and to be completely honest, it's not a scam. But it's also not premium in the way you think. The free version of PPSSPP gives you the exact same performance, same UI, and same settings. The only difference? You're supporting the developer with a gold badge. That's it. If you want to show love and support for the dev, go ahead and grab the gold version. So, here's the conclusion, warriors. Don't let the price tag fool you. I've tested all these paid emulators, and I can tell you with confidence the free ones are just as good, if not better. You're not losing anything by skipping the purchase. In fact, you're gaining control, better performance, and sometimes even more features without paying a dime. Save your money, try the free versions first. And if you really like them, then support the dev but don't feel forced to pay just for the sake of it. I hope this video saved your wallet some damage. Hit that subscribe button. Pro Warriors out.